Okay, we are gonna continue on with our story of Christopher Columbus. So, remember Christopher Columbus is the Admiral, so he's gonna be in charge of all of the ships as they go to sail. The year was 1492. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella gave Christopher Columbus three ships. They gave him money to pay for the crews to sell them, plus food and water for the long voyage. Voyage is a trip. The bold Admiral Christopher Columbus was to sail with his fleet westward to the Indies. There, he would trade European goods for rare spices, golds, and other treasures that the king and queen desired. Columbus's three ships had names, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Can you find the smallest ship in this picture? The smallest ship, we're talking about these three ships right here. The smallest one is the Nina. The middle-sized one is the Pinta, and that one was the fastest. And Christopher Columbus was in charge of this ship called the Santa Maria. Proud of all of his ships and wanting his voyage to succeed, he was determined to choose the best sailors that he could find in all of Spain. Columbus knew that many sailors were still worried about sailing into the unknown. Remember, they couldn't see what they were sailing into. And he worried that he might have trouble manning his ships once the sailors knew the western direction of the voyage. All maps ended with the Canary Islands to the west. Not knowing what was beyond that, the sailors let their imaginations go wild. Sailors can be very superstitious, believing in all sorts of strange things, Columbus told his friends. Sailors will tell you that it's bad luck for any crew member to accidentally see an albatross while sailing. An albatross is like a a seabird. Although it made no sense and no one even knows how the superstitions began, many sailors still believed it. What if we get too close to the sun, they whisper. What if, what if we run out of food, they said. So he's worried he's not going to have enough sailors who want to do the trip with him. So... He talked to the queen and the queen said, I will pay a lot of money for anybody who goes with you. So one by one, Columbus found men who would be willing to travel with him to Spain, I mean to <laughs> Asia. At last, everyone and everything was ready. On August 3rd, 1492, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria sailed out, their, out of their Spanish harbor, bound for whatever fame and fortune their crews could find. The sailors were proud and excited. But when they passed familiar lands, the Canary Islands, and they found themselves in the open sea, out of sight of any land, they started to be fearful. Fearful means scared. Christopher Columbus could only do so much to keep his men feeling safe. He did his very best. As the days passed and then the weeks, Uh, his soothing manner was no longer enough to keep his crew from being s really scared. The sailors started imagining horrible things would happen to them while they sailed across the sea. The men whispered to one another, Maybe Columbus is crazy, and there's nothing out there except a sea. What if we run into a sea monster? So the crew, the people who were sailing, they started getting a little, well, a lot scared because they couldn't see any land. They couldn't see anything besides water, so then they started getting scared. What if there's a sea monster? What if we get rained on? What if a, a storm comes? Columbus knew, though, that he really wanted to find this land for King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. He was looking westward from the deck of the Santa Maria, and he thought, I know that there is land out there ahead of us, but where? So right now, things are looking a little sketchy. Things are looking a little scary. Um, the crew has no idea where they're going. They can't see anything except for the ocean. And they're trusting Christopher Columbus to keep them safe but they're just feeling a little scared. I could imagine that that would be kind of scary, right? It's not fun to not know where you're going. So 
But do you think that they're going to be safe? Do you think that there's going to be a sea monster? No. Do you think that there's going to be a storm? Maybe. That could be a possibility, right? Okay, tomorrow, let's see what happens.